Hi, I'm Shona. I'm the Education and Outreach Manager at Geoscience Australia. Geoscience Australia brings together experts in Australia's geology and geography. In this series, we're going to explore some of Australia's landscapes and landforms. We're going to learn about some of their features and the processes that shape them. We're also going to think about how landscapes and landforms are valued and the ways humans impact and protect them. In this video, we're going to take a look at how humans alter the landscape. So, we know that natural processes, like the movement of tectonic plates, shape landscapes and landforms on Earth. We also know that weathering, erosion and deposition shape our landscapes and landforms. But what else has an impact on them? Yes, humans. Though all landscapes and landforms are shaped by nature, humans also alter them in a number of ways. Sometimes when we look at the landscape, the first thing we notice is the way it's been shaped by humans. Can you think of some examples of this? We only have to look around our neighbourhoods to see one of the most obvious ways humans shape landscapes and landforms. What is it? Yes, it's urban development or the construction of cities and towns. Around 55% of the world's population now lives in urban settings. And as the population grows, this will increase, resulting in even more urban development. In Australia, the statistic is even larger with almost 90% of the population living in urban areas in 2016. Urban development degrades landscapes through land clearing, which removes native vegetation and habitats, disrupting natural ecosystems and harming the biodiversity. Even the parks in our cities and suburbs are often shaped by humans. In this park here, we can see a table and chairs, barbecues, a car park, toilets and bins. Sometimes the lakes or wetlands in our suburbs have been created by humans too. Can you think of any landscapes near you that have been altered by humans? Humans are rapidly changing our landscapes. Sometimes these changes bring great benefits to us through things like increasing food and fibre production to feed our growing population, or significant contributions to the Australian economy, but they can also degrade the landscape. Agriculture shapes and changes our environment. Mining for things like coal, iron ore and gold can have an impact on the landscape too. Perhaps one of the biggest impacts to landscapes and landforms is through human-induced climate change. More intense storms, prolonged droughts and sea level rise can rapidly increase weathering, erosion and deposition. Humans even alter waterways and the way water is distributed and moves in the landscape. Here we are at Canberra's Lake Burley Griffin. Let's take a look. How long do you think this lake has been here? Would you be surprised if I told you this is an artificial lake? Originally, Canberra was divided by the Malonglo River. And now we have this big, beautiful lake that was created by building Scrivener Dam in 1963. Due to drought, the lake didn't fill up until the following year. It's now the centrepiece of Canberra. I wonder if you have any artificial lakes or wetlands near your place. Mm -hmm. 